Do we need to know C and C++ programming before learning Java? In fact, I got this question a lot of time on YouTube, Facebook, everywhere that do we need to know all these languages before jumping on Java or can we start learning Java from fresh? I mean, even if you don't have any programming experience, can you learn Java? In this video, we're going to talk about the prerequisites for Java. Welcome back aliens, I'm Narvin Reddy from Tariskal Learnings and let's talk about the prerequisites for Java. Now what if I say to learn Java you don't need any prior programming experience. If you, even if you don't know programming, that's fine. You can directly start with Java. I mean, if you, have, if you are from different field and if you think, okay, programming is fun, you can make your career in programming and you, you might be having that thing, okay, I want to be a programmer. So you can directly learn Java without any prior knowledge. Right? So from today, if you think you, know, you want to learn Java, just go to my channel, I mean go to my channel, go, just search for the Java Tutorials for Beginner playlist and start with the first video and you're good to go. You can watch the, from the first video and step by step if you practice each and every video. I mean step by step, okay? Doesn't matter if you follow which video, maybe my, video, my videos or someone else's videos. You have to make sure that whenever you watch those videos, you have to go step by step. Don't skip videos. That's where you will feel, I mean, that's how you, you will find trouble, you know. All the videos are in sequence. So you have to go step by step. And while you're watching that video, you have to make sure that you also practice. The best way would be you have a laptop screen there. You, I mean, you, are, you have a desktop, I mean, any, any computer screen there. And you have a mobile phone just next to you. Just watch the video on your mobile phone or any other, any other monitor you have. And parallelly practice this and that's where that's what you make you more comfortable so with each video you'll be you'll be having some uh, maybe you, you can you can generate some assignment question for yourself and try to solve that and that's how you will learn java but then if you 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 might have heard about this thing right before learning java you should know c++ why we have this attitude it's because you can blame the uh, blame people from year 1999 or 2000 the, the thing is Java came in year 1995, so before that people used to know C++, right? So when the first book came for Java, for Java or maybe the, when the first article, article came for Java, they were assuming that you know C++ so that they can teach you Java. Example, if you watch my Kotlin videos, uh, I have when, when I was teaching Kotlin, I was giving a reference of Java. Okay, This is what you used to do Java and this is how you do in Kotlin. Because Kotlin is new, we don't have uh, good resources available. I mean, we have to search for different resources. But, but if you talk about Java now, we have lots of resources, right? So in that age, into 1995, 1996, if you want to learn Java, you should know C++. But now it is 2017. You don't need to know C++ to learn Java. You can learn Java from start. In fact, if you talk, if you, you can blame to your college also that in, in fact in colleges also we teach C, then C++ and then we go for Java. But then we don't need any prerequisite to learn Java, you can directly jump with it. The only thing you need is uh, the attitude, the learning attitude because of course Java is not that easy to learn, okay. I mean I, I'm, I, I try my best to make it easy for you in my playlist but then Java is actually not that easy that you will understand each and everything at, at first place. It may happen that there are some topics which, which will make you to watch my video two times, three times, that's fine. I mean, if you can watch that video two times and if you can understand that concept, that's important, right? So not every concept is easy, but then you have to, you have to re repeat the video, you have to re-practice or maybe you have to practice more on that particular concept, right? But then, yes, if you know C++, if you know, if you have a prior knowledge of any programming language, it will be helpful for you to learn Java. So, I mean, it's your choice. If you think that you should know both the languages like C++ and Java, you can do that. Start with C++ and after some time you can jump to Java, right? And trust me, if you know C++, Java will be very easy for you. But again, you are investing lots of time on learning C++. Not a bad thing. It will be, it will be advantageous for you in future. But then, if you, if you have a question, do we need to know any other language before Java? Answer is no. You can directly start with Java. I hope you'll, you will enjoy the entire series. We have approximately more than 180 videos now. More videos are on the way. Maybe I will, I will be adding some more videos on this series. So make sure if you are if you are continuing with the Java, subscribe that button because you will get the latest updates. And if you like this video, just click on the like button as also. That's that's it. Thank you so much for watching.